Okay, friends, welcome to my daily vlog number two. Today, I'm gonna be talking about some light bulb replacements I'm gonna be doing around the homestead. I've got some things on order for the pickup truck um, to start moving forward on the truck camper. So in the meantime, while I'm waiting for those things to come in, um, I've got to get other chores done around the homestead. And as you can see right now, that this um, light post behind me is missing three out of four lights. So today I'm gonna just discuss the savings that we're gonna be doing, uh, converting ourselves from fluorescent to LED. So stay tuned. For years we had incandescent bulbs just like anybody did around the homestead and then uh, fluorescent came into play and we did the fluorescent for a long time and now everything is going LED and the cost of LED lighting is starting to come down considerably. Um, some of your local power companies will even offer you discounts um, for you know, when you go to purchase these things, sometimes there's rebates with your local power company. So it's good to check those as well. So I'm just doing a quick video today. Um, I was curious on the watts that each of these pulled down, you know, the boxes, they tell you so much, you know, like, you know, a, a, a incandescent bulb um, pulls down 60 watts and a fluorescent pulls down 13 watts and an LED pulls down nine watts. This isn't, you know, tr super scientific you know i mean this uh bulb right here this incandescent this is a 60 watt uh, 120 volt sunbeam incandescent bulb um this one here um, by uh fiat electric this one's a 13 watt um it, it's putting out 900 lumens and claims it's 13 watts and then i have this new sunbeam led um, which claims it's 9 watts, 800 lumens at 120 volts. So we're going to do a little bit of testing on these and um, see which one's, you know, the cheapest way to go. I'm pretty sure that the LED is going to win. So I'm super excited to uh, start using these around the homestead. So we're going to start, you know, historically on this with the 60 watt incandescent bulb. We'll flip this baby on my kilowatt. I'll put a link down below where you can get one of these. These kilowatts are pretty cool because it shows you where your power is. Um, you know, if you're curious at, you know, if you've got electronic devices, you know, vampiring down your power around your house, this is kind of a neat way to look at um, those things. So I'm going to flip this light on. And you can see that the incandescent bulb is going right up to um, almost the 60 watt mark, just like the box here said um, that the incandescents pull 60 watts average. So that's a lot over time um, on your kilowatt hours. You know, those add up and that's what, uh, you know, you multiply these lights by, you know, so many around your house and they, uh, the nickels and dimes add up fast. So it was nice when we stepped away from the incandescent bulb and went to fluorescent. One thing too to note about the uh, incandescent bulbs is they get hot, they put off heat. Sometimes people have used these in chicken coops, things like that to keep their chickens warm, you know, cause it does put off a little bit of heat. We're gonna move on to the fluorescent light now and see how many watts it pulls. So we're going from incandescent at 58 watts. So years and years later, the fluorescent bulb came around and the fluorescent bulb, you know, was a considerable um, decrease in wattage. As you can see here, we're now at 11 watts on the uh, meter. One of the things about fluorescent lights um, is that they take a minute to get up to their full uh, brightness capabilities. They do put off some mild heat, but nothing like the incandescent bulb. You know, the average lifespan of an incandescent bulb is a thousand life hours. And then the fluorescents went to 10,000 life hours. And so that's pretty cool, you know, that you, you know, by your, you're saving your wattage and then you're also increasing your 
uh, life hours of the bulb from a thousand to ten thousand so that's pretty cool but now we're going to move on to the led now instead of pulling down 13 watts like we were before we are now at seven watts these led bulbs come on right away they give you full brightness right away there's no delay they're cool to the touch you're at seven watts and an incandescent bulb has got a life of a thousand hours your fluorescent bulb has got a life of ten thousand hours and these led ones claim to have a life of twenty five thousand hours so that's quite a bit of savings over time because you're saving on your kilowatts and you're saving on how often you're going to have to replace this bulb and another thing that i love about led bulbs is that they come on right now and they're nice and quiet and i'm just going to drop in another little point that i have about fluorescent lights um, in this next section okay one thing that i don't like about fluorescent bulbs is a perfect example it's about 32 degrees in the shop right now and we're going to turn on the fluorescent lights here and i don't know if it's picking it up on the camera but this light over here is flickering badly and I don't know if it's going to show up or not but they flicker and they make a hum can you hear that hum that's on there the microphones pick up that hum very well now I'm going to show you where I replaced my fluorescent bulbs over my bench here. I replaced these with some LED um, bulbs that I had purchased from Costco and I really like it and I'll show you why. And listen. There's no sound. There's no sound at all. The other thing I like about it is it's 32 degrees out there in here right now in the shop i flip this switch right now right now they don't warm up they just turn on and they work and they don't buzz it's very enjoyable and there's a lot of cost savings that i really enjoy with that too so you remember earlier when i was talking about your light bulbs add up this um yard lamp that we have has one, two, three, four, has four light bulbs on it. If you were running four incandescents, that would be 240 watts. If you were running four fluorescents on there, you would be hit or miss on 52 watts. And on the LED, you know, kicking around eight watts times four, now I'm at 32 watts. So there's a considerable amount of uh, wattage savings there you've really you're, you're saving a lot of wattage and now you got to start counting up your bulbs you've got one two three four bulbs there five bulbs there six bulbs there seven bulbs there there's eight There's nine. And I don't have one on the back of the house. That's a uh, flood lamp that's right there. And I can't change that out to LED at this time. Oh, I have another one on the shop right over here. Right over here. I don't have it turned on right now, but that's 10. And my wife does not like the lights on the exterior of my shop. And the reason is, is because I like having them on at night. I like them on for two reasons. So I can see as I go in and out the door to my shop, as well as security purposes. You know, I like to keep the area lit at night. So um, in one of these episodes, I'm going to be installing a timer switch um, on here. So once that happens, there should be a link up here somewhere 
to that. And I stand corrected. It's not that she hates the lights on my shop. It's that somebody forgets to turn them off and they're on during the day. So I'm gonna be installing a timer on some of these switches soon. So keep your eyes open. There's probably a link here soon, hopefully once I install that timer on how we go about that to uh, get these to automatically turn off in the morning. So that's 10 bulbs on the exterior. We haven't even worked, we haven't even gone inside the house yet. You know, I've got 10 bulbs on the exterior of my house that I'm gonna get on timers. I'm going LED because I want those nickels and dimes in my pocket. So I'm pretty happy to put these LED bulbs around the homestead. This is going to help save additional monies around the homestead and put more dollars back in our pockets to go out and do the things we enjoy doing. We like going out and we like living. We like going out, we like going RVing, we like camping. And those things cost money. And the way that you can, you know, have the money to do those things is to get yourself debt free. And those little savings that you get, those little nickels and dimes that you gather everywhere, that's how you're gonna get yourself debt free. And that's how you're gonna go out there and you're gonna live. So just remember friends, if you're not living, you're dying. Thanks for watching.